VIP. Let's kick it. Welcome to Parametric Helps. In this class web tutorial, I want to show you how you can make a parametric uh, series of solids uh, based on a polyline. Uh, you can see that by changing the polyline, it's going to be updated. Uh, I can define how many iterations I want to take, uh, the height of each of these blocks, which can be uh, for a parametric building, and an offset minus. You can go outwards. And this tutorial can help you to understand uh, how to uh, use the Anomaly plugin to use a sim really simple step to make this parametric uh, building. Uh, I can simply draw another polyline if I want to and give this to the curve input and it's going to update. Here is another one. Let's just set this to the curve and you can see how easy it is to produce the final result this is the height of each of these steps this is the offset we can increase the iteration and it's really easy to deform the final results uh, okay let's get started from scratch and uh, take a look at the algorithm so I'm going to turn off everything the first thing obviously is the curve we have to bring inside grasshopper uh, so what I have done is that I have converted that into a surface by going to the params menu geometry and a surface container uh, automatically it's going to convert a curve to surface then we can extrude that in the Z direction uh, so I'm going to give that a Z and this is going to be the height of this extrusion so if I uh, zoom back you can see that this is going to define the height uh, of the first block okay after producing the first block we can make this uh, a complete loop by bringing this up to the next level so what I want to do here is assume that this is my polyline and I extrude that up uh, get the curve at the top make an offset inwards and then extrude that up again so that is going to help us to simply use a really easy tool just, just like offset and extrusion to make the next block. Again, we get the top part, we offset it inwards and extrude it up and do that uh, as many times as we want. So now what I want to do here is to uh, define the series of inputs of the anomaly. Let me explain this. Uh, if you're using a nominee plugin, there is a classic and a fast. The fast is going to give you the final result really easy. So there is a start and an end. Uh, you just have to put it on the canvas and connect to the top. And what you have to do here is uh, to actually define the inputs. As you can see here, the first input is D0, 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 and D0. Uh, if you zoom in, you can add another input. So be sure to add the same input for the uh, loop end and double click on the uh, fast loop start. It's going to uh, correct that. So remember that we have to have the same inputs uh, as we have in the start uh, as in the end. So you can see here that I have uh, uh, I've renamed these inputs units height offset then we have a units height offset uh, as the loop uh, okay we give the extrusion to the first input remember whatever you give to the uh, you get out from this input you have to give it back to here so you, you can see that uh, again I'm making another extrusion and giving it back to the units. So that's the really most important thing. Uh, another thing is that if you connect uh, the output from here to the input of the end, uh, for example, I've uh, connected height and offset to their ends, that means that it's not going to change in the loop. So uh, what actually this does is that when you change this, it's going to update everything. So remember that if you want to define parameters that are going to be changed, uh, always uh, define them uh, in the loop but just connect the start and the end uh, easily uh, okay after uh, producing the fast loop start and producing and getting this unit uh, what I want to do is deconstruct the BREP obviously you can find it from surface analyzes deconstruct this is going to give you all of the faces and because the start is going to be here, it's like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And the last one is at the top. 
uh, I've reversed the list so I can pick the index as zero. It's going to be the top part really easy. And uh, then you can use the curve utility and offset uh, curve loose to make an offset. Uh, I've given the offset distance here to the D and made it an expression minus X so it goes inwards. So if I change this offset number, you can see this is going to define the offset here. Okay, after offsetting the uh, top boundary of the block, uh, we can again connect it to a surface to make it a surface, extrude it up the same uh, amount we had in the height and just give it back to the unit. So you can see how easy it is to give this uh, to the loop and produce the final results. Uh, then other thing you have to do is to right click here and record the data. And let me show you here by removing the flatten. Uh, it's going to make you something like this as the data. It's going to be like if I simplify this, uh, you can see it's going to add a series of zeros just to say that it was produced in the next loop. But because we don't need that group, I'm just going to flatten this and just remove the simplify. Uh, we have also added the first extrusion to the group and then the last uh, is going to be added by the units here. Okay, we can turn everything off. And uh, now I, I'm also adding some uh, visualization to this so you can download this from our website to get the visualization. But anyway, now we can control the shape really easy. So if I just change the iteration, the height, the offset can be even minus. Remember that. And at the end, we can deconstruct this. If we get the list item reversed, again, we can have the top, right? So if I bake that, you can see that I can have the top in a layer. Uh, if I use this uh, set sequence call index, I can delete the index zero. This time I don't uh, need to reverse it. So this is going to delete the bottom. If I bake that, you can see it's actually giving you the box without the bottom, removing the bottom. And again, you can reverse it and say delete the top. So if I bake this, this is going to be actually all of the facade surfaces. You can see the top and the bottom is removed. Uh, if you want to have the bottom, it's really easy. You just have to use this list item here and don't reverse it. And if you want the curve, you can just simply give a curve to it. So if I bake that, you can see that we have the production here. That's the bottom. You can again connect that to a surface if you want to, or just give it a visualization. So I'm just going to add this here. And maybe we can show that as a black. But anyway, because this is in bottom, we can't see it. So uh, you can actually give any curve to this. So if I just define a curve and give it to the input roll point bit forward we can define the number of iterations the height and the offset okay give it to the input and just move the control points in the xy plane to design your building so it's really easy an easy process to design the building in the next lesson I'm going to show you how you can put a series of windows on the facade so here we have the uh, surface for the windows the mesh for the borders so we're going to define a scale if I change the scale you can see that the windows are going to be bigger uh, or smaller and also we can just uh, define their distance on the surface so if I just decrease that it's going to increase the number of windows so we're going to learn how to make holes in the facade by those windows uh, as you can see here those windows have a cut through the facade and we can also produce those in Rhino so you can see this window is in the second layer and I can use it in my project I can also bake the different parts of the windows in different layers so for example this can go to layer one uh, this can go to layer two. I can even add the floors. So you can see that if I go inside each uh, of these floors, uh, we can have the surface for the floor. And that's really good for uh, fast visualization and adding windows to a facade. So we're going to learn this in this algorithm. And
and thanks for watching remember to like this video subscribe to our channel so you get notified about our new lessons and see you next time bye